You're so happy you could come have lunch with your father and me, Fluttershy. I'm so glad you asked. And it was super awesome of you to invite me, too. Things have been so busy with the Wonderbolts lately, it's great to get a chance to relax someplace quiet. That's exactly what I intend to do now that I've retired. In fact, I converted the back house to showcase my cloud collection. I have my clouds, your mom has her flowers, you've got your animals, and your brother? Zephyr Breeze has his... interests. <laughs> I'll say! Remember when he was convinced square clouds were gonna be the next big thing? <laughs> He's matured a lot since then. Actually, it's funny you bring Zephyr up. Oh no! Not again! It's just for a little while, dear. Till he gets back on his hooves. Wait! You don't mean... Guess who's home? <laughs> That's right, Big Sis. It's your one and only favorite little brother, a moi. Aww. Hi, Flutter Butter. How's the bestest big sister ever? Hey, where's the love? How about a little excitement to see your baby brother? <laughs> I'm just surprised. When you left, you said main therapy was your calling. Oh, it is, sis, it is. You would not believe how much stress ponies hold in their manes. Everything gets limp and unmanageable. No offense, but brushing alone won't solve the problem. What went wrong? Nothing went wrong per se. It's just the powers that be were so locked into their required styles. And you know me. I've got my own style, and I think they were a little threatened. Oh, this is lovely, dear. Ugh. Well, if it isn't Rainbow's the best flyer that ever was, Dash. Oh, this ought to be good. Sorry, I, I shouldn't tease you. I know the whole super awesome flyer bit's just to impress me. Still, thanks for showing up for my homecoming. It's, it's sweet. Oh. I kind of thought there'd be more ponies here. I mean, what about your party planner friend, um, Sprinkle Pie? She could turn this into a real house party, am I right? I mean, this place could use it. Drab! <laughs> I... We have been meaning to redecorate. Dad, please. When I get all my stuff back in here, you won't even remember what this boring old place looked like. Um... Mom, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? What is it, honey? I'm not so sure letting Zephyr move back home is a good idea. I know you both want to help, but don't you remember last time? Zephyr's just trying to find his place, dear. Oh, I know. It just seems like his place always ends up being your place. And then he sort of makes you do everything for him. Well, we may not be as bold as you, Fluttershy, but don't you worry. We know how to stand up for ourselves. And they were all like, We love your free spirit, Zeph, and it will be wrong to cage that. Go follow your dreams. Zeph was just telling me all about the ins and outs of main therapy school. It's all so political. I just could not take it. Well, maybe if you stuck with it for more than a few weeks? Sorry, sis, but when something's not the right fit, this pony's gotta fly. Anyway, good talk, Rainbows. I am so touched you came to see me. Really, I hate to deprive you of my presence, but this breeze needs his Z's. You know it's the middle of the day, right? I know. Siesta. I'm just going to assume you made up my room the way I like it, right, Mom? Oh, I almost forgot. All my stuff is out front. Want to grab that for me, Pops? <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Same old Zeph. <laughs> <laughs>